see the sheep are in. We've got black sheep, we've got white sheep. We've got some very big sheep there. <laughs> but they're the llamas. So I'm going up the top of that hill and uh, back to where I was yesterday. Sun shining today. Lovely. A little button. Oh, that was hard one. <laughs> I've had about oh, a couple of dozen silver papers so far. Ah. I think that's an iron buckle. I'm not sure. Take it on, clean it up. <laughs> okay, there's my buckle. <laughs> nice bronze buckle. Ah. Onwards. Oh, George III, 1806. Huh. You've got to get. You've got to get about 30, 40 feet up into the field before you start getting things by the look of it. Down there it's all silver paper. Bronze stood there off a horse harness by the look of things. I'm up against the wall on this side of the field and I got that Georgian by the wall on the other side of the field. I mean the rules are still working. You get stuff by walls. It's either a water pump or a, a World War II aircraft spotting uh, hut where they had the observers watching down the valley so the planes didn't fly below radar uh, now you are MR company oh big plaque one two three four six six studs on the back that looks it like it with the bar. Uh, ooh, I don't know who you are. I've, I've uh, done the bottom of that field. I've just moved. There's a little section here that I can just wire, you know, take off the map. So I'm doing this now. Uh, <laughs> one colossal piece of bronze. <laughs> a colossal. <laughs> Half a P, <laughs> half a new pence. Must have been the smallest coin ever made this. <laughs> Squeal mode, give it a, a quick. <laughs> that were it. <laughs> oh dear. It's a coin. Two coin hunt. I've got a bad feeling the bad weather's coming in. And I haven't got my waterproofs with me. Well, we'll do as much as we can. Chunk of bronze there. If it's a bearing or what it is. Nearly finish this now. At least I know there's nothing in here. <laughs> okay, for um, those of you who work with me in uh, my squealer mode days, <laughs> which is non-motion, let me give you a quick demonstration. Right, that's GM power. Now I'm going to flick to squealer mode. And that is pinpointed right on top of the object. And there it is, right in the centre of the plug. And it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a condenser or a tin can or something like that. <laughs> the pinpointer is spot on, you know. It's, uh, you dig out your salt and there it is sometimes, right in the middle. That's interesting, if it's a coin, it's, it's brilliant, it's a tiny little coin. Give me a minute. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? 1941 farthing. George V. In beautiful condition, look. What a little belter. Oh, ho, and another one. Another. Look at the beautiful condition. It's a little bit worn. What is it? I think it's 1928. I'll clean it up when we get home. <laughs> oh, two belting little farthings. Telescopic car aerial. <laughs> From the time when you could actually print foreign on something 
and give you the choice of whether or not you wanted to buy it. Those days have long gone, haven't they? <laughs> Everything's foreign. Now there's a bit of fancy horse gear. They're called tetras, aren't they, I think, for the reins. Uh, was silver plated lock. Ah. <laughs> oh, you little beauty. That's three I've got like that with that um, sort of uh, narrow at the bottom and uh, wider at the top. Oh, you little beaut. Good one. Hello. Had a good hunt today. And when I started cleaning things up, it got even better. <laughs> All right. Not much junkite. Um, golf ball. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not sure what that is. It's it's iron and it's a clip. Um, it's not a buckle as such, I don't think. Uh, the old um, copper wire, which the farmers use for tying things up. Bit of copper strip. Um, plug. Copper plug. Um, don't know what. Oh, uh, strip of lead. Hmm. A Meccano plane with the wing off it. Things back bad memories that because the um, just down the road um, in World War Two, Lancaster bomber lost its wing and uh, straight in it went. Whoa! Five Polish airmen dead. Oh dear. H two zero zero three one. Hmm. It's cattle tag. Hey, look! <laughs> An old door handle, wood, with bronze fittings. Hey? <laughs> Multiple signal that, because it's got uh, iron in the middle and a bronze ring and... Dig it up, what are you? <laughs> and this as well. Oh, that's heavy. An iron cog with a... Um, what we call a gunmetal insert, which is um, quality bronze for resisting heat and stuff and wear. But, uh, whew, come off some machinery, not as heavy as this. This is solid bronze. There was a pin went through there and that looks like there was a piston in there of sorts. Um, not sure, but my goodness, is it heavy. That, that's a bit of Victorian engineering, there's no doubt about it. So, from there, let's go on to some goodies. An aerial, telescopic aerial, off an old, old radio. And they were in demand in those days. Um, so, he engraved his name on it, look. And that says... Hen Does that say Henry? Henry Keith Watson Keithley and that's short for Yorks Yorkshire <laughs> oh, I don't know what 1930s maybe something I don't, something like that <laughs> and it's got foreign on it because <laughs> it was a by British campaign in them days ah, soon went for a bummer didn't it Right, now, look at this. It's a plaque, MR Company. And it's got these things that I don't know whether this is actually horse brasses again, you know? Um, going on the cart, or, or on, the ho on the harness. The collar. MR Company. Come on, somebody tell me who it is then. A buckle. Oh, like me buckles. <laughs> I think that's about 70 now and it's got <laughs> poor lad <laughs> look at this chuffed to death it, it, it's a turret I think uh, for the reins on a horse and I thought it was silver but it, it's very heavy silver on it uh, I scratched the black off the top literally scratched it off and there it was underneath but, oh, that would have been bonny in its day. Went with that silver rosette I got for the horse rosette. So around here they had this, um, perchance for silver, didn't they? Silver fittings. 
must have been proud of their horses them days. But, um, yes, I like you. Got me a bit of silver. <laughs> a button. Mm, a tiny little button. <laughs> I'm right chuffed because the detector picks them up at depth. <laughs> now, this this is brand. Give it a quick polish. Uh, well, brass, probably brass, and it, it's coming off a horse harness, I'm sure it is. Uh, a stud, big brass stud. They were proud of their horses those days. And I mean, putting silver on the stuff, it was a way of, you know, just showing off. I'm wealthy, ha <laughs> ha. So, okay, money, money, money. A tiny half P. <laughs> A George V ship Hapney, 1937. Not bad actually. Now at the top of that field where they were, by the wall where they would go to uh, sit, what have we got? A couple of beautiful little farthings. 1920 something or other. It's got a four there, but it can't be. George five. No, it can't be a four. Because George six came with the throne. And it's got the um, Britannia on the back, look. One farthing, which is a quarter of a penny. It's not a four, it can't be. It's got to be 1920 something that, because this laddie, George the Sixth, he came to the throne in 37, so in the 40s, look, it was uh, George VI. Look at that. This particular, this, this is in textbook place. This was south facing wall, top of the field, in, on dry sandy soil. And look, it kept it immaculate. But that's the place to find stuff, and whoa, paid off straight away. Look at that. What a little, that's a wren, a little wren. You hardly ever see them, but they took a survey and they came to the conclusion there were more wrens in England than any other bird. But uh, yeah, with all the house sparrows and things around, you'd think there'd be more of them, but no, seemingly that is our pop most popular bird. Beautiful condition, look. Whoa, wee. And we've got 1806 George. Um, <laughs> it's pretty much gone. Uh, which way? That's his head there. You can just see his head there, look, that, that bit there. But it's the right shape and it's the right size. Um, so we've got 1806 George the Third. Right, now I'm going to take you to this bit of crap. You know, I always get the lead and stuff and all, and I say, take it home, clean it up, open it up, see what's in it. Well, I was scratching the, some iron off the back of this, and I thought, what's he got pins in for? And I turned it over, and I got the shock of my life. Look at that. <laughs> my goodness. A uh, Jubilee crown, so it's got to be Victoria. That is Victoria. And again, it could be a horse brass, you know, because it's got, it's got the little clips on there, on the back. But my goodness, what a shock. You get a bit of grotty old stuff like that, throw it in the bag, take it home, clean it up, turn it over and wallop. <laughs> oh... Now that's got to be my piece de resistance as that Queen Victoria Jubilee crown there. My goodness. So that makes it about 1880s-ish, doesn't it? Something like that, 1880. What a little beauty. Yes, you're my favourite. <laughs> Although I'm pleased with a bit of silver look. Yes. And... Gentlemen, if you can help me out with this one, 
MR company. Um, I don't think and look to the horse brasses. I don't think it's Midland Railway. It was um, there were more letters in. Anyway, as everybody's beginning to say now, <laughs> look, it's out there. Go get it.